Hey YouTube, Daniel Collette here. Welcome to the channel. I am working on a new 308 Winchester load. All right, obviously this video is about Barnes, so this is the Barnes TSX BT. It's got these uh, little grooves in it, and that's, that's what helps Barnes get the, the accuracy that it can get. And it's, it's all copper, doesn't uh, break up too much. I, I actually recovered these from my mule deer last year from 168 green, and they opened up pretty good and they have really good weight retention, over 90% on, on the ones that I pulled out. I'll be using Lapua brass once fired, and I did anneal it and clean the primer pockets. For primers, I'll be using Federal Large Rifle Match primers, and gunpowder will be Varget. I've waited over two years to get my hands on some Varget, and I am quite excited. Uh, for primer seating, I use the RCBS uh, primer system here. I forget what this thing's called, but it is awesome. It's super fast to just click it up and down. I got it kind of loose in my press so I can move it. All right, we will be using my Lyman All-American 8 turret press. Works pretty good for me. For sizing my Lupua 308 wind brass, using the Redding Type S bushing style die. It's a full length die. And what's different about this than your normal 308 dies or, or other reading or other dies is that it had, takes a bushing. So I measured a loaded case with Lapua brass that I already have and I came up with this measurement here to, to get a thousandth of an inch neck tension. So one I'm not using the expander button because I'm, I'm just, this is just a bolt gun. There's no need to, to fix a dented case or whatever. And the instructions show to, to turn it all the way down and then give it like an eighth of a turn to allow it to uh, self-center uh, in there. So you can hear it. For bullet seating, I'm using the Reading National Match competition seating die. For load data here, I sourced the Barnes website for 308 Winchester 150 grain. And this bullet here. So starting out, I'm gonna use their, their overall length that's suggested. 2.81 inches, we'll use that. And I have Varget, which is their recommended gunpowder. And Barnes recommends 41.7 to 46.3, and that's a compressed load up to 29.10 feet per second. Okay. And then the other load data that I used is Nosler. And Nosler has the the E-tip, which is also a, a copper bullet, and they show Varget up to 46 and a half grains and their best charge weight at 44 and a half 2700 feet per sec 2777 feet per second of the 2892 compressed as well and then Hodgson also lists the e-tip 150 grain at an overall length 2.8 inches and up to 46 and a half grains compressed, 2914 feet per second. So, so I've decided to start my load at 45 grains and work my way up to 46 and a half and half grain increments. And I will load five bullets each, to take those to the range and see where I group it. So at. far, 2737, 150 grain Barnes TSX. 45 grains of Varget. Twenty-seven forty-two. That's tight SD. I haven't even looked at my shot. Almost touching. Not. Damn. Daniel, the speed of the bullet is like almost the same. Daniel. Daniel, do you want to shoot this last shot? Yeah. Daniel, listen. Huh? Look at me. Look at me. There's less gunpowder in this than there is in that one. Yeah. I'm telling you.
Damn. That's good. Uh-oh. What? Come on now. Daniel. Huh? I think I found your powder you're gonna your bullet and powder you're gonna hunt with. Hmm. Damn. Not bad. All right, after shooting from 45 to 46 and a half grains, my best load is at 45 grains. Not only that this is about sub MOA group, yes, I did have this little bit of a flyer here, but I got really good grouping, but a lot of the other ones have, they open up and then the SD numbers are, are pretty bad. Um, but I did get an SD and ES under 10. So increasing the charge weight had a much larger ES and SD number and the groups weren't as great. So pretty sure I had some kind of a flat spot in velocity around this area. So since I only had one sub MOA group, I wanted to confirm that seating depth was not an issue before testing some loads at 200 yards. So I loaded five bullets in 0.3 grain increments and seated them 50 thousandths off the lands. And I used a Hornady OAL gauge to measure my lands where, where the rifling begins. I also tried a fired case with super glue and I got a measurement nearly identical. So I know where my lands are now. I wanted to confirm seating depth's not an issue and I didn't know if I'd get pressure signs uh, seating closer to the lands. Um, that's just at an inch or so, but that's increasing powder charge. And I think that's a really good yield right there. So I think seeding depth 50 thousandths off the land would work fine. I'm, I'm seeing really good results jumping 50 thousandths from the lands. So my best uh, charge with Varget uh, when, I, when I did my first uh, initial uh, testing uh, was 45 grains. So what I'm testing is 2.2 .2 grains below and above 45 grains. So I have 44.8, 45, and 45.2. We're gonna shoot uh, uh, 15 shots, five each at 200 and see what we get with that. And that'll finish uh, my barns testing. Last shot of 44.8 grains. So this is my target after the range time there that y'all seen. 
So 44.8 grains yielded a 1.6 inch group. And that's this bullet, this one, this one, those four, that's 1.6 inches. And at that flyer right there, so minus that one flyer, and still we had about a 20 mile an hour wind that day. Um, and then my next best group was these three right here, plus that fourth one, and that also was about 1.6 inches. And then I had another flyer up high, and I'm curious if I had a little extra powder charge in it. Anywhere from 44.8 to 45 grains would be an acceptable hunting uh, charge weight. Um, the 45.2 grains kind of shot all over the place, so we could tell that I'm, I'm starting to leave my node. I took all my data from the chronograph, and a lot of the numbers are average numbers that I took from the chronograph, plus uh, single shots as I did the ladder before the, my uh, new seating depth. And you can see from 43.5 grains up to 46.5 grains. So I had the three grain range of uh, shots and you can see the flat spot in, in here. And that's where I had my two best groups at 200. And my best group at 100 was uh, 45 grains. And the ES actually was a little tighter than what I'm graphing here. Um, the ES at 100 yards was nine. And I had an SD of uh, 4.6. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just go with 45 grains going forward for hunting season. All right, if you enjoyed the video here, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, my next reloading video will be with the Nosler Partition in 150 grain. And I got them to shoot very well, but it was a brain picker for sure for a little while. And I did get a little bit of help to get those to shoot sub away as well. Again, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you all in the next one.